how to operate the Z1 via the app. And now that we have the camera connected to the phone, let's learn how to take photos and videos with the phone. It's as simple as you guess. You just push the button. That's a picture. And for a video, you tap up here on the video camera icon. There's the two icons up there and you start doing a video. Make your hands dance in front of it. Well, it doesn't give you a preview while we're doing that, but you know, just for fun. So now you have successfully taken a video and a picture from your phone. Now there are several ways that you can view the photos, but let's start with this button in the bottom left corner. It has a picture of a 360 camera and then a little photo. So let's click that. Okay, now that we have taken a video and a photo, uh, let's learn how to transfer it. And you can see up here, if you ever get confused, you have three tabs. One is not transferred. That means not transferred to the phone, transferred or all. So if we were to say transferred, you can see there's nothing on the phone. And when you transfer a photo here, it automatically puts it in the camera roll on your phone. Let's say there's a moment where you're going to transfer all of these photos in here. And I'm not quite sure how many there are in here, but let's find out. So if you look at the top right corner, there is this little photo icon that has a check mark. Click that. And now we're in the mode where we can select items and we can go to the bottom left corner, click on the check mark, and we have just selected 94 photos and videos. Now, if we were to transfer all of these to the phone, that would take quite a while. So we're not gonna do that right now. Or we could delete them, but we're not gonna do that either because that's gonna delete them off the camera. So you have to be careful when you select all of them. Let's click cancel. How to transfer the photos from the camera to the computer. So depending on if you are a Mac or a PC person, this is a little bit different. But let's talk about the scenarios that are the same. If we're just putting the photos into the Photos app and we already have them uploading to iCloud, in the case of Apple, then you can access your iCloud via the computer. Or if you have a third-party software or service such as Dropbox or Google Photos, you can set those to automatically upload your photos and your camera roll to the internet and then access those on the computer. Or the most traditional way would be to use a cable. This is also the quickest way as the data speeds between a cable go the quickest.